There have been countless memorable moments in the PBA and normally it's what the bowlers do on the lanes that creates these iconic moments. After all, when the stakes are high, it goes without saying that everyone is focused on the players. But there are moments when the commentators shine and make some iconic calls. A good commentator doesn't necessarily look to overshadow the action, but they know how to capture the moment and present it to the fans in a way that just creates a compelling viewing experience. So in this video, we're going to give the PBA commentators some love and look at some of the best commentary moments in PBA history. I put a post out on YouTube the other day asking you all what your favourite commentary moments were, so most of these have come from your comments. Some of these moments have become incredibly iconic, others are just downright hilarious and one moment even changed bowling in a pretty big way. But we'll get into all of that later in this video. So let's start our list with number one, Nelson Burton Jr. Nelson Burton Jr. was a bit before my time, but many of you would have grown up hearing him commentate on PBA telecasts on ABC for many, many years. Alongside Chris Schenkel, Chris and Bo became an incredibly iconic pairing. Apart from his commentary duties, Bo was on the PBA tour and won 18 titles in all. He was pretty young when he started at ABC and therefore was still bowling regularly on the tour while commentating. This memorable commentary moment came in 1988 at the PBA Quaker State Open. It was the title match and Mark Roth was facing Bob Benoit, who was the top seed. Benoit was throwing strike after strike and had the first eight in a row. Roth was trying to keep up as he could still max for a 279, but went high in the eighth, which basically put an end to his chances. Now it was all about whether Benoit could make a 300 game. He got the front 10, and after the 10th strike, Bo made this fantastic call. Chris, a lot of people said to me, this young man will choke. I says, don't count out these tough young guys. There's probably been whipped around a schoolyard by some bully sometime, but put a bowling ball in his hand and look out. He's Superman. He's got 10 in a row. So Superman, as Bo put it, threw a strike in the 11th and then managed to get his perfect game to not only win the title, but also receive a bonus of $100,000. Number two, Gary Thorne. This name might not be too familiar to everyone as his time as a PBA announcer was short, but Gary Thorne actually became a big part of quite possibly the most iconic PBA moment of all time. Thorne was the replacement for Rob Stone, after Stone left ESPN. Thorne would see out the remainder of the events for the 2011-2012 season. This meant he was on duty for the 2012 US Open, which of course has become infamous as it featured Pete Webber's Who Do You Think You Are? I Am moment. Pete needed a strike to win his fifth US Open, and let's just take a listen and hear what Thorne said. Strike to claim it, a strike to claim it, and... Now, part of me did think it was Pete's reaction that makes Thorne's call memorable, but there's just something about it when you listen to it that makes it a really great call. I think Thorne did a decent job during his short stint, and I would have liked to have seen him feature in more telecasts. Even though he wasn't around long, he will be remembered due to his part in this famous telecast. Number three, Randy Peterson. It was only a matter of time before we got on to Randy. He's been such an integral part of the PBA commentary team for so long now that there's so many moments to pick from. He has quite a few sayings that he's well known for. Perhaps the most common are, are you kidding me? Or he absolutely pured it. But this moment we're going to look at came from the 2009 National Bowling Stadium Championship, an absolutely fantastic event, largely due to the venue, the National Bowling Stadium in Reno. This event was also quite unique as it featured a dual pattern, the sharp pattern on the left lane and the cheetah on the right. It was the title match which included Walter Ray as the one seed and Patrick Allen. Allen had smashed his way through the field as the four seed, defeating Bill O'Neill, Chris Barnes and Wes Malott. Now he faced Walter Ray and it was a pretty close match throughout. It came down to the 10th frame and Walter needed a double to win his 46th PBA title. He got the first strike and he had to have the second strike to win, 
and nine spare would mean a tie. Let's watch what happened and hear Randy's reaction. Six of his illustrious career. No! Oh my God, that's a loser! He just lost the tournament. You do not see reactions like that me. from Walter Ray Williams Jr. PA is barely in sight of our cameras. He is that far away. Well, I'm Rob. I'm speechless. I've never seen that ever. Well, what a fantastic and hilarious call this was, although not a funny situation for Walter at all. I've actually covered this match in a previous video and I looked at this last shot in detail to analyse whether or not this was a good shot and if it really was a bad break. If you're interested, you can watch that video by clicking the link above. But this 8-10 leave meant that Patrick Allen was the winner and this moment is still incredible to watch 14 years later. Number 4 Rob Stone. And this is the Bucciologhi, the world's hottest chili pepper. Right. A million Scoville heat units. What does that mean? Oh, that's the ho world's hottest chili right there. And so I'm going to give you some milk to cut that heat. It's starting to kick in a little bit. Um. <coughs> <coughs> so, um. <laughs> that was a dumb move, wasn't it? Yes, it was, yeah. <laughs> now onto a pretty controversial figure. And I say that in the sense that you, you either love him or hate him, basically. Unfortunately, many people hated him when he first started commentating. Many criticised his lack of knowledge and what didn't help was his whole handbone saga. Now, personally, I always quite liked the Rob and Randy partnership and I think it definitely worked, but I do understand why people weren't necessarily a fan of Rob's style. This moment is the first time that Rob uttered the word handbone after Robert Smith got four strikes in a row. Whether you love or hate handbone, this moment had a huge impact on bowling. Whether you think this impact was positive or negative, well, I'll leave that up to you to decide. Up 21, looking for a hand bone. One time! There's One a time. hand pull! Yeah. Hand bone! Yeah. That's a hand right, pull, Trey. son! Not gonna take it from me. No way! And that will bring us to an end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I think it's quite nice to look at some of these memorable commentary moments as often we do get wrapped up in the bowlers, but obviously the commentators do play a crucial role in making these moments memorable for the viewers. I'm sure there's some memorable commentary moments that I've probably missed out, so if there's any that you feel probably should have made this list, just let me know in the comment section below. And just one final thing, if you have enjoyed what you've seen today and you've yet to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would just click the subscribe button below. And as always, thank you bowling fans and see you all next time.